All right, what's up, everybody? It's Spliff, and today we're playing some more Nuclear Throne. Now, it's come to my attention that uh, No Man's Sky has recently come out, and I know the extraordinary amount of hype that came along with the game, and I also know that um, a lot of people were disappointed. And I can kind of understand where they're coming from, because the developers of the game... Actually, today is not a crystal day. The developers of the game, I think, well, maybe more was Sony that overhyped the game, and they said all these things were going to be in the game, and they weren't, so... It's a little disappointing. I wasn't planning on getting the game, unless it was just incredible, then I probably would have gotten it. But... Let me get this started first. I think I'm gonna do eyes today. I think that the game itself is basically a worse version of Minecraft. In a sense, um, and you get to fly ships is basically the extent of that. All you do is craft things and uh, that's that's pretty much it. I mean, yeah, you can fight like enemies, but there's no end game besides getting to the center of the universe. But you're basically doing the same thing all the way there, and you just get to. F there's no there's no what is the word consistency to the game. It's just or maybe not consistency. Hmm. I'm trying to think of the correct word, but it seems to be that there's just a lot of filler. As opposed to actually having, I guess, depth would be the best word. The game is really empty, in my honest opinion. I haven't played it, but I've seen enough to know how it's going to be. And I've seen a couple of reviews on it, too. Um, and it's $60, too, which is the most insane part. You're paying $60 for a game that doesn't have as much content as Minecraft did when it first came out. And Minecraft was, what, like, $15? So. I think it was overhyped and overpriced. And... I think everybody deserves what they got coming for them. Because, I mean, Reddit itself, they overhyped the shit out of it. So, I guess it wasn't mainly Sony. It was kind of... It was kind of Reddit that took everything word for word. And then just blew it way out of proportion. And they were like, oh, this game's gonna be so good. Oh, we're gonna be doing all these things and all these... We're gonna see all these... We're gonna see people. It's just... Ah, it's gonna be great. That's pretty much how that happened. And then they discovered that, oh, wait, you can't actually see people. Because it's single player. And, oh, wait. All you do is mine. Oh, wait. You can fly ships to planets. Wow! <laughs> and all the planets are different. But the textures suck. The art style is beautiful. But like, for a game of that caliber, which isn't that high, mind you. I didn't even have to kill that guy, sweet. Um, the textures should be good. Especially on PC. Now, I don't even... There's a lot of shit going down in the PC community with this game currently, because apparently the PC port is absolutely horrendous. According to Total Biscuit, at least, and a couple other people. Apparently, there are PS4 files in the, the PC's port. The PC's port. <laughs> the PC port. There's PS4 files in the PC port. That is really difficult to say. Now, if that's not fucked up, then I don't know what is. That's how that's how poor the port is. I'm using a lot of peas right now. <laughs> it's it's taking a taking a toll on my speech. Okay, let's get that. And according to Total Biscuit, also he said the frame rates are very bad. Um, he, I mean, he runs, I think, SLI GTX 1080s or something like that. Some crazy, you know, 10k PC setup. And he can't even run the game. Oh, fuck, it's not Crystal. <laughs> he, 
he can't even run the game at, you know, 60 FPS in a game which definitely should be able to be a run. Which definitely should be able to be run at 60 FPS. He should be running it at 144, to be honest. But it's, it's, it's really bullshit how a lot of companies nowadays are treating the PC community. Uh, it's just like, you know, like, oh, consoles are focus, and we'll guess we'll throw a game to PC. And then it's just shit ports all the way. And then they wonder why people pirate their games and don't want to pay $60 for a, a four-hour game that's shitty. Like, I don't... It's dumb. Whoever, whoever is, like, the PR person and decides that, like, all those companies should just be, you know, everybody should just be fired. They're in it for the money. And all these, like, microtransactions and you can thank fucking mobile gaming for that plague. Ugh, so many things are wrong. It's pretty fucked up. I say a lot of things are fucked up, because it is. Everything's fucked up right now. Even this game. Like, when the portal explodes and the car blows me up. That's fucked up. You know what I'm saying. I'm gonna do homing bolts just because I have a crossbow. So yeah, uh... You know, No Man's Sky is pretty empty. All things considered. It could have been way better. They honestly should have charged 20 max $30 for it. Maybe. I mean... It's definitely not worth $60 in, in the state it's in right now. If they, if they charge $20, let's say now, and then gave it a bunch of shit, and like DLC, and added all this new content, and it was amazing, like great, charge $60, that's great. You can do that then, but right now, in the state the game is in, it's definitely not worth $60. So if you're thinking of pre-ordering it, please do yourself a favor, and uh, just shut your computer off, and uh, lock yourself in the closet. Because, you know, I think that's the best way to handle that situation. If, if you want my honest opinion. So, I mean, I don't have a rating for the game. Because I haven't fully played it. Actually, I shouldn't say I haven't fully played it. I haven't played it at all. Because I don't plan on buying it. Maybe in the future. Oh, shit. This is a bad position to be in. We're good. Maybe in the future, but, you know, I don't... Unless it gets just a lot of content and there's PvP and like combat and space battles. Like, I, if they would have added space battles, everybody would have been happy. Because space battles is way cooler than, you know, anything out there right now. That would have been so cool if they had PvP space battles. Like, you could fly to a space station and then, you know, you'd land on a little landing pan and then be like, you can select your game type here. And then you click, like, space battles, and you fight in fucking space with your spaceships. If they could have just taken, you know, some of that $60 that they overcharged you for, and put it into space battles. I think the game, honestly, would have been way better than the state it's in right now. Like, yeah, it's 15 developers. It started as, like, what, 5 or something like that? So I can't really blame them fully, but I can because probably Sony forced them to charge $60, even though they know it's not worth $60. And they're being really shady about it, too. They're all like, I mean, it could be multiplayer. They're like, we can play with people. Blah, blah, blah. And they're not like, the de developers aren't specifically saying whether it's single player or multiplayer. So yeah, there you go. That was a lot of talking. <sighs> Gotta take a deep breath. Alright, let's focus on playing now. Oh, shit. So I can get things done. Yeah, fuck you. Ugh. I have a cut in my nose, and it's the worst thing ever. Cuts in your nose are horrible pains. They hurt a lot. For whatever reason, I think it's because there's like a lack of skin space in that general vicinity. Motherfucker! I'm getting shit on! Okay. Alright, we're gonna... 
We're gonna focus this time. No more talking about stupid shit. We're gonna go YV. I wanna get at least to the ice level. Come on. Don't do this to me. But I do have one question, is what's the difference between golden guns and re Golden guns and regular guns. That's what I wanna know. I think this one shoots faster. Maybe it does more damage, I don't know. Whatever. Who knows? Boom! I mean, I can basically turn it into a slugger. This is... Thank you. This is fucked up. These maps are so big. hit me. Okay. This is... This is bad. I'm doing very poor. Very poor. Oh, nice. Alright, if I get a, uh, an upgrade for HP, I will certainly be taking it. No questions asked. Unless... Wow, I didn't get anything. What does that mean? It just said prop. Prop! Boyishka! Alright, let's be cool. I'm empty. Okay, that was good. Got some bullets back. I I just needed to kill that guy. Slugger. Interesting. I think I'm going to take that over the crossbow right now. Give me bullets. Thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, no. This is going very poorly. Get our head in the game. Get your head out your ass and put it into the game. This is a good level. Very close quarters. And it's gone. Alright. Maybe it's better if I just use this. Yeah. Look at that. That's so much better. Oh my god. Amazing. Look at me go. Oh my god, that's a lot of mice. There's a rat infestation. In the sewers, of all places. Who would have thought? <laughs> Who would have thunk it? Please give me... Yes. Perfect. You know what? Sure, let's do it. This is going pretty well. Rhino skin? Yes. It's some good shit. Okay. I'm so used to playing, playing crystal that I just want to right click whenever a ball is coming at me instead of dodging, and it just fucks everything up. See ya! Wouldn't want to be ya! Oh no. We're good. Sawed up shotgun. I don't know, like, what is that? Is that good? Is that better compared to the double? Or the assault? No, probably not. Maybe it just has more. I think it has more, uh... Yeah. It just has more... Uh, what is it? Pellets? Yeah, there we go. Nice. Alright, I... I don't want to join that party. Not just yet. Not quite. Okay, thank you. Scoot through here. 
But I don't want to call the police. Oh, that was close. Alright, now the question is, do I call the police or not? Well, looks like it's out of the question. <laughs> okay, moving on. Rabbit's paw. Beautiful. Look at all these fucking cars. Bad. Get away from the car. Away from the car. Alright. We need to clear this area out. Squeeze through there. And get away. Okay. Beautiful. Cluster launcher. I don't think that's safe. I. <laughs> uh. No, I, 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 I don't want to risk it. It's that's that's very dangerous. Heavy grenade launcher. Jesus, you just Oh my god. Yeah, see shit like that. But this thing is insane though. Oh dear. I mean, I dig it. I like the explosion sound. Boom! That's fucking cool. Alright. Energy screwdriver. I think I'll pass on that. Thanks, though. I'm just gonna stick with the golden pistol all the way through. I think that's... That's the best bet here. Because it's good. And with YV and his uh, little... Yeah, look at that. Now, here's the real question. I think I want to save this for the nuclear throne. Because that would do massive damage. Especially against those generators. Hmm. I don't... I guess... Like, that's a, bitty, a pretty big explosion. A pity bell of bloven, blah, blah, blah. Shplef, do you even English? No, unfortunately, I don't. Alright. I changed my mind. Who wouldn't want a fucking auto crossbow? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, ow! You bastard. At least he gave me HP. That's very polite of you. This is... Oh, shit. Gimme. Oh, that guy just... I, he didn't... I thought he had a charge-up time, and he didn't. That's unfortunate. Hey, we're just under 20 minutes, too. So that's pretty exciting. Well, I got to the ice level, but I didn't get to the boss. Because I'm not... Still not used to playing the other characters. Unfortunately. Oh, well. I'll get used to them eventually. It'll take a while. But I don't plan on stop stopping recording Nuclear Throne. English is hard. Don't make fun of me. <laughs> well, if you liked the video, then like the video. If you dislike the video, then dislike the video. I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!